Hey peeps, super glad you're here. I want you to stick with me through the fast forward of the setup. I want you to watch this whole video for me because the messages are gonna come right through and then we're gonna validate them. And what resonates with you will absolutely make sense and what doesn't, just leave it aside because this is a general reading. If you would like something personal and confidential, comment, we'll find a way to connect. Right now, I don't have that set up. I'm doing this all for free because I wanna help. So let me know what you need help with. You could comment about that or you know, just comment that you would like to connect with me. So I'm gonna set up now. The incense are going and I've meditated and prayed. I just want to go through the setup. I'm gonna use Moonology today as we get through this full moon, move into Sagittarius season. And these are Oracle cards and then I will pull to, to validate and runes. So Moonology, Tarot, and runes today to see what's going on in your life, what you need to know, what you need to let go of, heal, change, love, find patience in, learn how to shuffle. All right, let's go. I'll play some music. I want you to breathe while we fast forward through this setup for just a moment. So again, stick with me, give me a like. I need your support. Look at all of this, you guys. It, it pieces together, so stick with me. I'm gonna start with the moonology explanation. Full moon in Scorpio, let's talk about it. We're just coming out of Scorpio season. The full moon is not necessarily in that, but anyway, it is time to release negativity. Scorpio season can make you feel paranoid, can make you worry, which is pointless. Uh, you really, really have to let go of negativity. There's a strong theme in this that the situation you're thinking of, it's not going to work out. 
that's my feeling. This is what our spirit guides are telling us. The energy is telling us. But during the new moon period coming up, and this is new moon in Sagittarius, luck is going to get be on your side. The world is here. Things are changing. All right, stick with me though, because each row keeps validating the position you're in where you need to let go of the situation. It may be work involved and or it's just truly accepting the ending of something. Understanding there is so much protection and strength in this reading and <clears throat> communication is going to play a big part in this. I do want you all to know that all four elements are represented here in this reading. So some of this will resonate with all, you know, some of you and all of you. There are going to be challenges that are going to be hard. You're going to have to rest and meditate and pray and get through them. But ultimately, I do feel like you're going to collaborate. You're going to set new goals. And you're going through this right now. So just go ahead and, you know, use your magic. The magician does show up here. Do not be afraid to talk about what's bothering you. Don't keep it in. Release the negativity. Just accept that nothing is going to come from this situation. That is the void, of course, moon. And specifically what I can tell you about that. Oh, hold on. Void, of course, moon, where are you? Sorry, guys. Obviously, you need to change what you're doing. And trust in the highest good. Uh, something better is definitely around your around the corner. New moon in Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius coming up. We have the new moon coming. 12-4. Right around the corner. So I want you to hold on. Because um, this... Let's see. Where do I want to start? Now we've talked a little bit about but let me finish with uh, New Moon and Sagittarius. I just can't tell you enough to let go of the situation that you're in. And the best thing you can do when you see this card is surrender to the divine. It's, it's time to just be. And that is reflected in this Four of Swords card where it's very important to rest and meditate about this and pray about it. In this row, well, okay, we'll get into that, but you can see, I'm going to further explain how each row keeps helping you move through this situation that you have to let go of and giving you so much protection and strength to move into what the spirit guides are telling you here. So now that we've discussed these moonology cards, I want you to understand the meanings behind the runes, the ancestral language that I often speak to you guys about. First, we have there is as rune of the thorn. It actually stands for TH, power of endurance, protection. This is a fire energy, Mars and emperor. So you're going to release that negativity and step into that emperor um, protected kind of energy, even of yourself where you're going to set goals and move forward. This is a very strong Mars, fire energy, 
again, protection. It does represent change, conflict, cleansing, releasing the negativity. Praying about all that. It does also represent luck and strength. I will show you how much strength is represented here. But we do have luck coming in as well. So listen, I'm telling you from the get-go, whatever situation is not working out, it's not meant to. It is not meant to. Do not waste your energy. Time is precious. So, that is the power of endurance. From Spirit Song to Row, in the same row, what do we have here? The buffalo. He speaks to determination and endurance. He speaks to strength. All effort in. You are going to rest, meditate, and then take action and just let go of this and be hopeful and bring in that new stuff. I do feel this is a work change. If it's a relationship change, you know what to do, but there's not a lot of love cup energy here. This is about actions, intuition, and pentacles, wealth, prosperity, um, the magicians represented, and the world. So opportunities that you need to take. This is about you, you, you. Letting go of stuff that you know nothing will come from. Eight is a number of progress and motivation and making those plans going to let go and make plans. This is again under the rune of the power of endurance, this row here. So then more fire, air, power, energy with this night. This is about an event or opportunity coming in and you need to let go of that old stuff that's not working and accept the opportunities that you probably need to jump on right away. Also in this row, which I would kind of say the current energy and how we're going to deal with it and the messages from our guide. So the nine of wands here is what past issues am I dealing with? What delays, suspensions, adjournments, you know, more? What do I need to let go of this negativity? I'm sick of it. All right, next row, understanding nothing's going to come of this situation with the rune of the yew tree, more power of immortality, protection, Scorpio, death. That means transformation. You know nothing's going to come, so you're going to transform and accept the ending of something. And with that, our energy connection brought in the queen of shells, the seal, the cups. This is going to be a gentle person in your life. Perhaps you. Um, understanding the desires that you want and the nurturing that you need to get through the meditation of this the prayer of this, to move forward, to let it go, and also came in judgment. This major arcana card asking you, divinely praying about 
what is my calling? You really, really want to know. And I know that the power of the rune tree is a time to accept that ending and look to the magical enlightenment for protection and a new path. It's going to be angelic enlightenment. And I will get to this, but the world is coming. You well, you we release all the fear. Then let's move on to what our spirit guides really want you to take home with this message, and I need you to stick with me. We have the rune of the breath of God, the power of communication. Again, protection. This is an air energy, mercury, communication, magician, manifesting the desires, the new beginnings, the joy, the world, the opportunities that you can. There is a very important message here in the end to seek advice from someone trusted. Don't make rash decisions. Seek knowledge. All right, we're going to get to that. First, I want you to understand in the same row came in this beautiful ram, the ace of acorns, which is the ace of wands, a creative force of confidence, that energy, the action and purpose that you're going to move forward with in the new moon, knowing it's divinely indicated. It's a time, the timing is here. I feel like you've done a lot of this contemplation, letting go, prayer. Uh, the spirit guides have shown me this. You have possibly had material trouble uh, money troubles, career troubles, wanting this to end, or a relationship where somebody sucked all the love and money out of you. Nine of swords. Oh, it's painful. It was a painful ending. Absolutely. Um, it can represent death in many ways truly death or the death of a situation of a career of a passion of a love or just the transformation that the death card means more endings and beginnings truly represented understanding that nine is a card of action and courage and you're going to see that courage coming in. And the spirit guides did give me, after that painful situation, you gained so much intuition, confidence, insight, that this card in Rider Wait to Row, she's in movement. Most cards, they're standing still, they're, they're clothed, she's free, the wands are in celebration, the elements are all represented here. She's free to embrace opportunities and luck is on her side. To validate that, I asked the spirit guides for more cards. And then we received this King of Feathers, the Lion. He represents more logic and justice. The Queen I mentioned here, the Queen of Shells, the Seal, is a nurturer, the gentle person with advice. This is a strong, uh, 
air energy, a strong person that can give honest advice, clear plans, and the strength to help you face challenges. And if you don't have that person, you're gonna find that strength yourself. Luck is on your side. And do let remind you, the breath of God and communication is here. Mercury and the magician all wound up into this fire sign too of strength. So then, the spirit guides showed us again. Oh, my dog is barking. Sorry. Stick to the end and I'll show you these, my zoo that interrupts me. I hope my animal lovers appreciate it at least. Okay, so I was showing you the nine of swords. This, this honestly represents loss of hope depression and anxiety that we saw <clears throat> as you dealt with this situation that you know nothing good is going to come from. <sighs> but you're going to have nine, you're going to have the action and courage to work hard through this, which also was represented in the Eight of Pentacles showing you are working hard through this. <clears throat> Positively speaking, Page of Wands, you see next. This is to get out, take a walk, take a moment, smell the air, <clears throat> do the meditation and prayer that was indicated, and the rest, okay? That's simply it. New energy. Go out and accept that new energy that you need to regroup. And along with that, we have the King of, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords were sent to you twice to remind you you're struggling to connect with your intuition. That's why you need to take time out so that you can really feel confident and good about this change that you're making. You need to let go of the fear and you're gonna have some intellectual conversations about this with some of those important people in your life that will I do believe back up the plans you're making. And once you get through that fear, you're going to connect with your intuition. And then also, uh, the Eight of Pentacles is an important card to ask for help as you navigate these new territories. It's working hard, but you're, there's a, you, you need to collaborate, add to your knowledge or learning, but it's gonna come through someone that you connect with. That's both nurturing, has a good ability to communicate, and is a strong leader. And that will help you transition out of the situation and into the new. Two of Pentacles shows you having a juggling a lot, a lot of balls in the air, but you're going to understand at what point the connection is coming in. This person is coming in to help you navigate these choices. Also, your intuition is going to increase. And I know that because lastly, you were given the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be an aha moment where you reach this world feeling, this aha moment where you get past um, the struggle to connect and you have new mental clarity and insight. 
So it's, it's really awesome. I want you to understand this progression. This is about a situation you absolutely need to just let go of. Have faith in yourself. Take some time out. It's a good time to do it. And then move forward with a lot of positivity. It's good. You can do it. We know you can do it. And we meaning all of our guides and um, guardian angels and our source and God and you. So bless you. So much gratitude for you being with me and following and listening to all of this. All right. Please like and comment. Reach out. Know that I he I'm here to provide readings, astrology information, numerology, lots of things I can help with. Um, I blog. I'll share all of that. I'll timestamp the video so you can listen to these messages again and hopefully find a lot of inspiration. I feel a lot of inspiration and energy and connection from you. So really, really grateful. And I can't wait to do this again with you. So come back. Like. Peace. Thank you. Stay strong. Protection was represented throughout this. So you are blessed and protected. Have a great day rest of your time until we meet again.